Hey guys, this is Hester coming live at you from my front yard. And I am one of the clergy at Church of the Holy Communion in Memphis, Tennessee. My hope today is to show you a couple of ways that you can live into beloved traditions from the safety of your own home during this time. Now, Palm Sunday is coming up this Sunday, and a lot of us uh, will miss having our palm branches to wave around, make our crosses, and have them blessed during the service. But if you'll recall, the disciples grabbed palm branches because that's what they had nearby on hand. So if you would like, you can go out into your yard and grab whatever branches or greenery you can find. If you don't have a yard or branches that you can cut off, you can grab a piece of paper and draw some branches. You can grab anything that you have in your house, a noisemaker, uh, strips of material, whatever you have that you would like to use as that celebratory sign as the disciples were coming into Jerusalem. Now you can have those, I have a branch right here from my yard. You can have those on hand during the eight and the 1030 and the 530 services. It'll be live streamed on Sunday and we will be blessing those for you. Afterwards, we hope that you will put them on your front doors, your front porches, your mailboxes, wherever they can be seen to everybody as a sign of Palm Sunday. And remember, if you're feeling lots of different emotions during this time, if you're anxious or afraid or feeling lonely, that the disciples too were feeling all of those mix of emotions as they pr processed into Jerusalem. They knew that they would not be welcomed. They knew that suffering was lying ahead. And yet their faith helped them to celebrate all of the amazing and wonderful things that Jesus was teaching them. So live into all of those emotions, the ones that are welcomed and the ones that are not. And think about how that might help you to live into Holy Week in a new way this particular year. I'm going to show you where I have uh, taken my branches and put them on our front gate. Uh, remember that this does not have to be a Martha Stewart arrangement. Just however you want to get them up there, it's a symbol that counts. Also, I'm going to show you that if you didn't have any branches on hand, you can use sidewalk chalk or colors to uh, write a big hosanna on the sidewalk or driveway or draw some palms um, and celebrate that way as well. Now, after Palm Sunday, there's another tradition that we celebrate the following week on Easter. And that is that all of those Alleluia's that we colored on Shrove Tuesday and hid throughout Lent are the ones that we would normally go hunting for on Easter morning. And it's okay that we can't find the ones that we colored on Shrove Tuesday because we are going to upload the template for you so that you can color your own at home. Again, you can also use sidewalk chalk or colors and paper, whatever you have on hand and color those, maybe a letter a week this Holy Week to remind yourself that although this is a very tough time of wilderness and spiritual longing, that at the end of this journey, death does not get the final word. So here is my Alleluia. I will, oop, I will be coloring it this week. And then on Easter morning or at the Easter vigil, when we turn on all the lights, I'm gonna put it in our front window and one on our mailbox and if you'd like to you can drive around in the safety of your car and do an alleluia hunt around memphis so i'm going to grab the camera right now and show you where i have put our branches on our front gate and also our hosanna on our driveway And my hope for you this Holy Week is that you will find some new ways to live into these beloved traditions from the safety of your own home. And who knows, maybe some of them will become new and rich and wonderful traditions in the years to come. Stay safe, stay well, and remember that your clergy love you.